Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Lee Newton. We are going to give you news. According to a recent ruling, viewing child porn is not illegal in the state of New York. And here's how the whole thing went down. James D. Kent is a college professor, or at least he was a college professor, but being a college professor isn't really his claim to fame. His claim to fame came in 2009 when he was indicted on two counts of promoting a sexual performance by a child and 141 counts of possessing a sexual performance by a child. He went to prison where hopefully all of the other prisoners are beating him. The and Court of Appeals, however, has since dismissed one count of promotion and one count of possession. The reason for this is because the images were not downloaded, they were only viewed. I'm glad hell doesn't have a court of appeals. <laughs> Yeah. The court ruled that you can't prove possession of an image if it's simply viewed. Their reasoning is that when an image is stored in a computer's cache, it's stored without the owner's consent. These images were found on Kent's computer when he complained about his computer being slow. Tens of thousands of images of children around the ages of 8 and 9 were found on his hard drive. He maintains his innocence. But wait, there's more! Senior Judge Carmen Beauchamp Saparic stated, Merely viewing web images of child pornography does not, absent other proof, constitute either possession or procurement within the meaning of our penal law. Rather, some affirmative act is required, printing, saving, downloading, etc to show the defendant in fact exercised dominion and control over the images that were on his screen. This is not an issue of the judge condoning child pornography, and he expressed that the problem of child pornography rests with the legislature and not the court system. So in response to this ruling, two Brooklyn lawmakers were all, what? They said that was legal? Cool. On it. Republican Senator Martin Golden stated, Federal regulations are already in place to see that those who access child pornography face the stricter standards of the law. New York must adopt these same policies. And the question now on everyone's mind is, at what point is this type of crime actually committed? People are wondering if there's something wrong with criminally charging someone for looking at something, regardless of how terrible what they're looking at is. And there are other more liberal arguments that incorporate extreme postmodern ethics. Basically, it's the same mindset that says you should be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, and not be punished for it. That being said, this whole ordeal is based off of James D. Kent having two of his 143 charges dropped. Two of 143 charges. That leaves 141. Mm -hmm. Which means, buddy, hey, guess what? You're still in prison. And now everybody knows who he is. So congratulations, James. So guys, what are your thoughts on this matter? Leave us a comment down below. And click the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And you can always feel free to click this here annotation bar or go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories or anything else we have ever done. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Lee Newton. <laughs>